We can learn about what's inside an apple by slicing it in half. We can learn a lot about what's inside a planet by slicing it in half. But they're planets. You can't really slice them in half. So how will the Juno spacecraft find out what's inside Jupiter? <laughs> We don't know what's inside Jupiter. Jupiter could have a core made of heavy metal that's sunk to the center. Or it might be that Jupiter has this exotic material that's hydrogen squeezed down to such a high pressure that the hydrogen acts like a metal, metallic hydrogen. Now, we, we can't cut Jupiter in half. We, we, don't, we don't have that capability. Instead, we have a happy little spacecraft in orbit around Jupiter. I'm a happy spacecraft orbiting a great big planet. Now, as it orbits, we strongly believe that there'll be slight variations in its path due to tiny variations in the gravity of Jupiter. And that will help us figure out what's inside. Now, how would we measure the tiny variations of the orbit of a spacecraft around a great big planet millions of kilometers from here? Well, we would do it by measuring the frequency of radio waves. Radio waves coming from the spacecraft and radio waves coming from Earth. We can measure those variations like this using the Doppler effect. Listen to the sound as the alarm clock moves toward you. Now listen to the sound as the alarm clock moves away. As it's moving toward you, the sound gets higher pitched. As it's moving away, the sound gets lower pitched. Now this effect, or this phenomenon, was described at first by a man named Christian Doppler. And to this day, my brother would like to have a rock and roll group called Christian Doppler and the Effects. But my brother's first name isn't Christian. So, we believe that by precisely measuring the path of Juno as it orbits Jupiter using the Doppler effect will be able to determine from Jupiter's gravity the nature of what's inside. Is it heavy metal? Is it metallic hydrogen? Or is it rock? <laughs>